For more than a year, Stan Larkin lived without a heart. But this 25-year-old didn't become a heartless tin man. It just installs right into the bag. That's because he carried around an artificial heart. But I was worried about the effect that it might have, like, if anything, like, is it really going to work? Stan was the first patient in Michigan to test out this new medical equipment in 2014. Just pretty much put it on like a backpack and go on to school. We use the artificial heart as a mechanical pump to bridge him to heart transplantation. Stan was diagnosed as a teenager with heart failure. Instead of waiting in the Michigan hospital for a transplant, 555 days to be exact, this 13-pounder let him leave. Previously, the artificial heart patients had to stay in the hospital uh, and stay in the intensive care unit waiting for their transplant, sometimes for months and months. Uh, but now he's going to have the opportunity to go home. It was a stressful situation. After I got it, I felt so much better. I felt like before I ever had any heart problems, that's how I felt like I could do whatever I wanted again. Last month, Stan finally found a donor match. The surgery, successful. Very emotional roller coaster. Two weeks ago, I got the surgery. Doctors call Stan an inspiration. You're heroes to all of us. Um, the fact that you actually take your story public and you allow us uh, to teach others uh, makes a difference. A difference for doctors and future patients who could take solace knowing technology works. Freedom. Something that's free. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Lee Sheps.